Hello! Today we are sculpting a striped caterpillar. For that we are making a simple cane and we are starting to make a Skinner blend. From bright pink to black. For that specific technique you simply cut two triangles and then you roll them through a pasta maker. You really need a pasta maker to use that technique. Although I suppose you could use a simple rolling pin and just your hands. However, if you're serious about working with polymer clay, I would highly suggest to get a good pasta maker. And you simply are going to fold and roll. At some point you might have too much clay and not enough length, so I just squish everything through and roll again. You don't need to worry to make a perfect skin of land for that one. You don't really want something perfect looking for that caterpillar. Because for organic shapes and organic colors, you want something that is slightly imperfect. And always fold in the same way. And once you're happy, just roll everything in a tight cylinder. And then push together. This is going to be the base cane for your polymer clay caterpillar. Then cut in two. As you can see inside it's very imperfect, which I was going for. Cut a bit of the black out if you have too much, which was the case for me. And then push together and round it. Put some white clay around your cane. And then start reducing. Depending on the size of your caterpillar, it's going to be more or less big. I went for fairly big caterpillars because these are going to go for a collaborative project and I didn't want them too small, but if you want really small ones, just continue reducing until you have your desired size. For the caterpillar base, I just rolled out a thick snake. Then just cut very thin slices of the cane. The best is to cut at different places of the cane, so you have a little bit of different shapes and colors. And then place them on the caterpillar. You want different sizes, so be sure to make thicker slices and thinner slices, so it looks a little bit more organic. And as you can see, I'm cutting at different places and spots of the cane. It's because most of the time, a cane is not completely the same from top to bottom. And especially on the end of the canes, there are some irregularities and that's exactly what you're looking for. And just cover the whole caterpillar with those. And once you're done, push them in the caterpillar and roll a bit so the slices stick nicely. And then using a toothpick, make the different parts of the caterpillar because it's made out of blobs. <laughs> blobs sound so scientific. Decide where your head is and then start to shape your caterpillar as you wish. You can use pictures of real caterpillars or just make something that you find fancy. Continue shaping, rounding every edges, and then defining again those, the different parts of the caterpillar with your toothpick. 
just check if everything is all right and then start making indents. The caterpillar skin looks a little bit wrinkly, so this is the look you are going for. That's why we're making so many indents on the, on the skin of the caterpillar. Always be sure to really define well those tiny parts of the body and again make more indents. I also added some extra white to make some more irregularities on the skin. Obviously this is optional. You could even imagine adding black or why not orange or red, maybe even blue. The choice is yours. As long as it's colorful and you like it, you are good to go. And once you're ready with all your tiny indents and you're happy, just bake. After baking, we are going to make the bottom. The feetsies! First add a layer of liquid clay. I always add the liquid clay directly and then use a brush and then add the black clay or the pink one or whatever color you chose. With the blade and being very careful, remove the excess clay. You don't want too much of that clay, so you just cut it off and smooth it down and then you are rolling tiny balls of clay and adding the feet. I made a total of five pairs, four in the middle and one at the back. Here you see the other side and just put them into place you can add more or less it all depends if you want a very realistic look or not and then using a clay shaper just smooth down the feet continue smoothing down all feet making sure they look good Also be sure to smooth down the edges of the belly, I would say. And then make some extra indents on the belly so it fits the top. So you have the wrinkly skin on top and beneath. It's also the time you might use to sign your piece. And finally, we want to add the mouth. For that, we are making three tiny balls that I shaped into tiny cones, and I'm just pushing them where the mouth is supposed to be. Push them down, shape them a bit, put them up again. And then finally bake. You can of course make different shapes and forms for your caterpillars and use as many colors as you wish. I very much hope you enjoyed this video and if you liked it, maybe give it a thumbs up. That would be really great for me. And if you enjoy caterpillars, I also highly suggest you watch my caterpillar DJ video, which is probably one of my favorite sculptures so far. In any case, thank you so much for watching and I very much hope to see you in my next video. Bye!